If you were a small artist who was commissioned to paint a mural that would be seen by virtually no one, what would you do? Michael McDonald did this. Untitled and underground, Mike painted the saturated piece on concrete in early 2023. He was commissioned by Public Property, a tattoo studio and occasional art exhibit, to paint in the unfinished corridor that connects multiple shops below Provo Town Square. The only scrap of evidence I could find for the artwork existing, aside from actually seeing it in person, is this Instagram post showing a time lapse of the process to create it. In the caption, when shouting out friends that helped him with the undertaking, Michael says that one friend in particular was there when I started this whole project. He handed me some black paint, basically said, throw something cool and abstract up and just start. The rest will happen. You'll know what to do. This, along with the earlier statement saying that this piece was his very first mural, indicated to me that although he was relatively novice, he was given full creative liberty. What do you do when you can do anything you want? Obviously, he couldn't do anything he wanted. He still had to consider the light foot traffic window shoppers made from getting to the collective underground from the social. He also was limited by his experience. Michael is a graphic designer who largely practices in a digital medium, so doing a sizable painting outside of the comfort of his personal studio on an artistic medium he was unfamiliar with would have been a formidable task. He was stepping into this tight-knit group of shops, artists, and artisans, and how to reflect their pre-established culture. In previous visits I had made to nearby stores, I got the impression that even though the workers may not know the exact future of their independent venues, they strive to achieve a sort of eclectic unity through relentless positivity and expression. The vibes are homegrown and hopeful. I appreciate art that embodies its environment, whether that is the physical location in which it is presented, or the adjacent social context that acts as a backdrop. Intentional or not, this piece is the epitomizing culmination of its surroundings, an endeavor for unification under an abstruse paradigm. Certain elements that the artist decided to include may come off as a pastiche to t-shirt designs found in hipster, skater-chic clothing stores like PacSun or Uptown Cheapskate, but I think this is Mike's attempt to connect with the milieu. Walk up the stairs and you will find yourself between two thrift stores. Travel less than a building over, and you can order from a socialized and sundry co-op restaurant. Likely being overwhelmed by the objective of filling a public wall, I think Mike includes hearts, yin and yang symbols, aliens and flowers, partly because that's what he thinks other people would want to see, and what other people would be made happy by. Performing a meta-analysis of McDonald's Instagram, I don't think Mike has fully found his style yet. He goes through phases dabbling in cubism one month and chiral characters or Instagram design account pop art the next month. This observation still holds true for the painting at hand. Mike didn't know exactly what he wanted out of the piece when he started, so he sourced material from what he was already acquainted with. This isn't a unique phenomenon, though, for what is art but its influences? The rest of the art in the cold concrete corridor is disconnected, swallowed by gray space and bearing a resemblance to graffiti, that is, if it's not actual graffiti. However, even the vandalism is filled with optimism. Smiles and other strange shapes. Someone defacing a wall couldn't spite the place enough to make it odious. Mike captures, or continues, the spirit of this place's community, the zeitgeist, or rather, the ortgeist. He wanted to leave his mark through this secluded painting. He put himself into it by placing references to his other artworks. Aliens with rippled eyes, bright warm colors, geometric flowers. He adds a touch of abstraction so that passers-by may possibly see it and say to themselves, Huh, I don't recognize that shape. It could be special. Or hey, I know that symbol. It means something to me. We, as collaborators and artists, may find ourselves placed into someone else's world, trying desperately to connect or fit ourselves in. That's what I saw in Michael McDonald's underground mural. We may believe that our struggles and failures are in vain, doomed to be forgotten, but perhaps someone will walk by and think that what we have to say is something worth talking about.